Anyway, Tim likes to take off his shirt all the time. It's kind of creepy. I don't know how a guy that spends four hours in the gym every day, 34 years old, is so antisocial, shy, strange, that he's never been laid. How does that happen? It's a mystery, not only to me, but the rest of society. If there are any ladies out there that see this and would like to take this young man's virginality, please feel free to give him a call. Or I'm sure he, oh, I think he already left his phone number on here or email or something. Anyway, he needs some attention. Please call ASAP. Uh, what are you saying? That if you can't share your commentary with me, you should be recording it. I share my whole life with you, isn't that enough? Huh? Sure here. What have you shared with me? I mean, everything we've filmed, you've seen, I haven't hidden things from you. But have you shared any special moments Why with me? I don't keep any secrets from you. Huh? I don't keep any secrets from you. How is it your movie? I thought we were both doing this. Know, Selfish bastard. All I was doing was giving a little commentary because you're so far away. No, you're so far away. I was detailing what a good job washing car you're doing. <laughs> I was saying I'm not gay just because I'm filming a guy without his shirt washing a car. No, I'm not. I have many gay friends, including you. What? Gay? Being gay? What do you think about it so much? I'm very afraid of it. Oh really? Well, I guess I should go in the house and tell my girlfriend that I'm really gay. You, does that mean I'm gay? Does that mean I'm a homosexual? I mean you're bi. Oh, a bisexual? Oh, I like girls and guys. If you're always thinking about the subject, then you probably are gay. You and Eric both. All you guys are gay. Well, it's not that. We all think you're gay since you're 34 years old and never been laid. I'm gay. I mean, you're gay. We think you're gay, but you're just too shy to come out to us about it because we might look down on you. Yeah, but that's a facade you put on just to trick us. I think you're trying to hide something. It's not the uh, outer beauty that we like about you, it's the inner beauty. I've ever had my life with that uh, hair. Excuse me? It's so gay. <laughs> well, it's on their mind all the time. They must be gay. But it's not. Who thinks about homosexuality? <laughs> I do, apparently. Why don't you stop talking about gayness and wash your car? Seems like you're the one that likes to talk about homosexuality a lot. <laughs> you should go tell Erica. We'll put it on film. Do you think she'd be surprised? <clears throat> that the girl that's been sleeping in my bed all this time finds out I'm gay? Put a paper towel roll up and that. That was awesome. <clears throat> you would do the same thing if you were in my shoes. Rape. <laughs> paper towel tube rape? It's paper towel tube rape. You sure seem to enjoy it, whatever it was. I could have had you thrown in jail. Well, you should. Just like the priests from your church that all should be in prison for raping little boys. Hey, what's that uh, piece of paper on that? What's that piece of paper on that pole over there say? See that piece of paper on that, uh... Oh, yeah. Fine. What's it say? It's... Maybe a celebration. Celebration of what? Your life? That's not... Over here. I'm trying to film you. My brother was in a top 40 Christian rock band. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> I'm going to see what this is. Huh? 
20th annual neighborhood garage sale, July 31st, Saturday. Free promotion by Dick Larson at Wines Reality. Signs, balloons, maps. To participate, contact me. Hmm. I think I'm going to pass on that. Nice try, Dick. Oh, look at the moon. Ah, oh, you can't see it. Did you see the moon? Where is it? You gotta come over on this side of the street. Look at the sunset. Film that sunset. Okay. Yeah, there's the sunset. Where's the moon at? Oh, it's right there. Where? Right there. Oh, there it is. Look at that sunset. And your big head's in the way. Look at that sunset. Can't see the moon on camera. Hmm. This camera's a piece of junk. Hmm. You should take it back. That's great. I'm really impressed of your car washing skills. Yeah. You do a really good job. <laughs> You're the best one you know? Best car washing. Huh. I think this is the first time you've ever done it, actually. Hey, there's a flashing thing going on on your camera. How much tape is it? 59 minutes. Should I just stop it? Hey Tim, whose car are you washing? You think she'll appreciate that? You sure like to do nice things for my girlfriend. I wish you would do something nice for me one day. When have you ever washed my car? But you, I asked you also to wash my truck, which is right there, and you said no. Uh, now it's too dark. Hmm. I don't believe him. But if you were to lose your virginity tonight, it would be an honor if you would lose it on my couch, but like put down a towel or something first. Or like, no, just take it outside and burn it afterwards. Because that is the right thing to do, I think, after you touch anything. Excuse me? That'll be a lesson? Oh, that would be awesome? If you got laid on my couch? Actually, since your car's all nice and clean, you should just do it right on your hood. Get laid on the hood of your car. Hmm. Well, when it does happen, the day it does happen, can I film it? It could be like an instructional video, like you're doing right now on how to wash a car. <laughs> Interview you afterwards? Maybe you can go on the Jay Leno show, since you're cutting him down so much. You should probably go on there and apologize. Nothing. You should apologize to your mother for giving you birth. And you should slap your father right across the face and tell him that his semen is damaged because <laughs> it created something like you. Nah, I'm just kidding. You're a beautiful person, inside and out. Well, mostly inside. The five head is kind of uh, throwing a lot of people off. And your driver's license looks like someone put your head in a clamp and squeezed it way too hard. So you need to get that fixed. Other than that, um, you're an okay guy. Not great. But okay. And I really like it how you're putting so much effort into washing my girlfriend's car.